Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Lone Peak. About a year ago, my rooftop tent literally got sawed off my truck and stolen. So it got me thinking if there was a better way to camp. Over the past year, I've been designing and prototyping the Lone Peak Camper, and I'm super excited to show it to you. It's basically a camper shell and a rooftop tent combined into one with lockable waterproof storage. Let me walk you through the features. All right, let's talk about the construction and the exterior of the camper. The whole thing is made out of aluminum extrudes bolted together with solid billet corner pieces. All the paneling is aluminum composite material. It's basically what they use to clad commercial buildings. It has a 30 year uh, guarantee on the PVDF coating on the outside. It'll last the lifetime of the camper. Now we have a lot of available add-ons. One of them are these billet handles that you can mount to the outside of the camper. Makes it really easy to get into the camper this one here makes it really easy to access loads on the optional load bars. Super cool. So the whole thing is weather sealed and weather proof from dust and rain. We have a seal right here that goes in between your bed rail and the camper, along with one on the front, keeping everything that you don't want inside out. Let's take a look at the side access doors next. All right, so the side access doors are one of the coolest features of the camper. The hinge for the doors is actually built into the main extruder here, making it extremely waterproof. A single latch opens it up, gas struts open the doors, and you have full access to your bed. We have an accessory in here right now called the gear vault. In the gear vault, you can act as basically a molly panel that we mount all these gear bags to that you can organize gear because you don't want to have to get into the bed of your truck to get gear out. There's also a bungee system on the bottom that you can use to hold heavier gear on the other side, I actually have some of my recovery gear. I have a winch that sits right here. It's nice, you don't have it sliding around on the floor in your truck. Now, let's talk about weather sealing a little bit here. We drove over multiple passes getting over to Boise. That's where we're at right now. Uh, this was the first test to see if this thing is actually as waterproof as I want it to be. We have dual seals right here, dual bulb seals. One is basically a backup if water gets past the first. So we were driving 80 miles an hour in a torrential downpour Water didn't even get past the first seal. And then we also have a seal on the bottom. This is primarily for dust, because any water that comes down the top of this is actually gonna channel out. This will help keep dust out from the doors. We're trying to keep this thing as weatherproof as possible, water and dust, because it's a pain and everything inside your truck gets dusty. All right, before we open it up, let's talk about the rear window. This window and the cab window both come standard, as does a rear brake light. We have a weather strip along here that seals against your tailgate. As always, a single latch opens it up. So I'm gonna open it up and drop my tailgate. This is where the rear grab handles come into handy. Helps you pull yourself onto the camper. To open it up, you pop two latches. The gas struts will do the rest for you. All right, so you might be wondering what all this fabric here is for. This is for what we call a rear rain guard. Is an interior structure that folds out from within the camper and it creates a rear overhang that allows water to pour off the top so that you can have this open even in bad weather. Let me show you the inside. All right, one thing you'll notice is that there's a ton of space inside here. We actually have the largest internal volume of any wedge camper on the market right now, which makes it really nice because you wanna spend time inside of the camper when the weather's bad outside. Another thing you'll notice is that I'm standing up and the bed is fully deployed here. That's what we call pass-through space. So it's the distance from the end of the bed to your tailgate. And we have 32 inches of it, which means you can actually stand up while people are sleeping in bed, which is a big thing for me. I'm camping with my family. So let's talk about the bed. It's a four inch thick dual density mattress, super comfy. To get up into it, we have a ladder that deploys from the bottom of the bed making it really easy to get up and enjoy your space. Now, another thing you'll notice is that we actually have bedding inside of here. The camper accommodates a little extra space for bedding so that you can keep it in here and close the camper without a ton of effort. So, another thing to think about is when we were designing this, 32 inches is a decent bit of space, but it's not enough. I want more space, especially if the weather's bad and I have to hang out inside of this thing. So let me put away the ladder and I'll show you a cool feature. So we actually put gas struts on the bottom of the bed platform. 
It allows you to push the bed platform and the mattress away, giving you a ton of space to change, hang out in, prep meals. It's more living space. It's pretty awesome. All right, so now that we have all this space, the question is, what do we do with it? So on the back of the gear vault, one of the many available add-ons is a shelf that can mount to it. And this allows you horizontal space for packing gear, cooking, or even sitting down and having a meal. Another available add-on are molly panels for the back window here that you can add more gear bags to. We've had a lot of people ask us about if you can actually open up the doors from the inside of the camper, and the answer is yes. And even more than that, if you're closing up shop for the night, you can lock the doors from the outside, close them up, get inside of the camper, have security that everything is locked, and then actually be able to open them up from the inside in the morning time. There's a ton of available options that we will reveal soon on the website. Um, one of them is an internal light bar, so that you have light inside of here. That's also why all the panels are white on the inside. It reflects light. We have something called Juice Box, which is basically a switch controller with physical switches, or you can use your phone to control it, and up to six channels that are powered through 12 volt power. We actually have a big battery through here that Juice Box is connected to, and that controls your front light bar, your internal light, your tailgate light, uh, a 12 volt you know, USB power, tons of options here, okay? Uh, we'll have a whole nother video for Juice Box in the dark so that you can see what it looks like with all the lighting options. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, please comment below uh, or email me personally at kyle at lonepeakoverland.com. Thanks for watching.